So what can I help you with? I would like to know if I can retire in five years. I'd be happy to help you determine a suitable retirement age. But I don't want to pay fees. We don't know if we will do any business yet. Let me learn more about you to determine if I can help. It costs nothing to talk to me. Good, because I don't want to pay fees. May I ask how old you are now? 45. And you would like to retire at 50? Yes. Do you have any children? No. What do you have saved for retirement? I have $100,000 of my company's stock in my IRA and 11000 in savings. Any other retirement funds? No. Should I buy gold? Well, gold is often part of a well-diversified portfolio. Yes, I want to buy gold. We will look at that as an option when considering your overall allocation. May I just ask you a few more questions, so that I may make suitable recommendations? I think I should invest in no-load index funds. They have low expenses and I don't like to pay fees. Index funds are inexpensive, but offer no professional management or thorough diversification. They can also be risky. I don't want to take on any risk. I just want to retire in five years. I want to help you retire, but you should not use funds from your retirement account until you are 59 and a half, to avoid a penalty. Why do you charge your clients a penalty? I wouldn't charge you a penalty. The government would. I need a new car. I will use the money in my IRA. Your IRA is intended to give you income in retirement. It is wise to save it for your future. If you make a large withdrawal now to buy a rapidly depreciating asset, a third of your money will go to taxes and you will have no money to retire, or buy a car, perhaps ever again. Well, the IRA does not sound like such a good deal. It is a very good deal when used properly in a sound retirement plan. Do you have any other expenses coming in the next few years? My son is going to college next year. Hold on, you told me you did not have any children. Frankly, I didn't think that was any of your business. I need important information to be able to provide you with sound advice. Oh, all right. We have one child. A son. Where is your son planning on going to school? He wants to go to Stanford. We are thinking he will get a scholarship. He is very smart. He has a B plus average. He is not likely to get into Stanford with a B plus average, much less get a scholarship. Do you have any money saved for his education? I can use the money in my IRA. I have already advised you to save your IRA for retirement income, and the cost of Stanford is over $50,000 per year. You do not have nearly enough money for that. Well, he can always get financial aid. How much do you and your husband make? And why do you want to know that? So I can tell you whether or not you will get financial aid? We make a little over $100,000. You will not get any financial aid? I will ask my accountant about that. Your accountant cannot get you financial aid? We should be realistic and look at other options. Well, I definitely don't want an annuity. I hate annuities. An annuity has nothing to do with education. And though I'm fairly certain that I'm going to regret asking, why exactly do you hate annuities? Because Susie Orman says they are evil. She said you would try to sell me an annuity. I hate annuities. Susie Orman. Susie Orman. Susie Orman. I don't like to pay fees. What are your CD rates? I like CDs. They have FDIC insurance. What are your CD rates? less than 1%. A certificate of deposit will not help you reach your goals. After taxes and inflation you'd have a negative return. You will lose money. But they are free and guaranteed. Guaranteed to lose money. Hum, I will have to ask my brother about that. Is your brother in the financial services industry? No, he is an electrician. But he has a subscription to Money Magazine. So, you value the opinion of an electrician over a registered financial professional. I think we are done here. Would you care for a lollipop? There is no fee for it. Is there anything else? Do you offer mortgages? We do. It is a great time to refinance. We don't want to refinance. My husband and I are thinking of getting a condo in Florida.
you cannot possibly buy a condo in Florida and afford to retire in five years. Also, you would need money for a down payment and you only have 11000 in savings. But we also have money in my IRA. Now I am positive you are just not listening to me. That money is for future income only. Do you hear me, you horribly delusional woman? What about socially responsible mutual funds? I think it is important to project admirable values when selecting my investments. Do you have socially responsible mutual funds? I would be more concerned about adding money to a sensible retirement plan and less concerned about whether or not you own a fraction of a share of Philip Morris. Your retirement savings is not adequate for anything that you have planned, and your expectations are highly unreasonable, short of wizardry. There is nothing I can do to help you reach your outlandish goals. If you cannot help me, you must not be very good at your job. Madam, Harry Potter and Warren Buffett together could not help you on your disastrous financial quest. Are you saying I can't retire in five years? I'm saying that I am surprised your clothes are on correctly. Then what would you advise me to do? I recommend you actually work until normal retirement age, not buy a new car or home, nor send your son to school. Use your savings to get him fat, then chop him up and eat him with macaroni and cheese during your retirement years, because that is all you will be able to afford. Can you at least help me open a CD for my daughter? Daughter? For the love of God. Please just leave my office.